if we want to look at that in practice, right, we are going to go back to those same examples, and I'm going to revise those examples to include an else statement, just to show you uh, the increased functionality there. So let's go back to the first example here, which was the non-empty string. And it says, if my input value is, em is not empty, so if it's, if it's a non-empty string, then we're gonna print that. So if I wanna add else, then what could we print that would give us something useful to the user? Maybe we say something like, the inner text is equal to, you need to type something just like that. Now let's save it and let's try it out. Okay, so again, if we have a non-empty string, it prints it. If we have an empty string, now it prints, you need to type something. Now, now that we have defined both options or both branches of code, we can kind of go back and forth between empty and non-empty. And this is sort of a program that continues to run because that event listener is still active. So that's, a, I think, a more useful and robust implementation of this code. Let's take a look at the next example. Okay, so pull that up. And again, this is our all fields complete. In other words, oops, this is a select menu where we have hello and goodbye. And this is sort of the same thing. If we add else here, I would like to say something like, uh, you should make a selection. Okay, so let's save that. And there we go. If I check input with nothing selected, it says you should make a selection. And then I can, of course, select either of those two options, hello and goodbye, and they work. And if I go back to, again, the non-option, it says you should make a selection. So again, this is a more robust way of approaching that problem. Let's take a look at this third one. And if you remember username and password, it says if this one is empty or if the password is empty, then we're gonna say you have to fill out both of them. So let's say if both of them are filled out, what do we want to say? Let's say this is a sign up form. Your account has, now obviously we haven't actually created anything, but this is the kind of messaging you might give the user. So if they fill out both password and username, you might say your account has been created. So now if we fill out neither of them, it says you have to fill out both. Let's say I fill out the username, but not the password. It says you must fill out username and password. And if I say password, there we go. Then it says your account has been created. So this is, again, better messaging, uh, more complete code, I would say. Most of the time, most of the time, you're going to want an if and an else because you want to account for what happens in each of those cases. Let's look at number four here, the fourth example, and password long enough. And of course, the opposite of the password is too short is that the, the password is long enough. So a lot of times it just takes thinking through like what's the opposite. If this is the wrong thing, then this needs to be the right thing. So it says, great password. Okay, so there's my password. And if my password is too short, the password is too short. But if I say something like that, that is a fairly robust password. It says, great password. Okay, so again, uh, it's just saying I've accounted for each of the possibilities in that scenario. And then here, here we go the gas tank analogy, okay? And it says you should get some gas. Probably what I want to do now is take this and just make sure that that is 
accounted for in the other possibility. So answer dot inner text equals a decadent of gas. Now I could take this out now. I don't really need this. So I'm starting with an empty div and it chooses one or the other. So I have enough gas. Let's see, 300. 10 and 300 is only going to get me 250 miles of the, of the way to my 300, so it's not enough. And I should get some gas. But if I have 15 gallons of gas and I say, can I make it? It says you have enough. So again, I can now go back and forth and do all kinds of calculations and see if I have enough gas. But that makes the code more complete because I've accounted for yes, this is true, or no, this isn't true. So that is uh, some examples of if and else in practice.